Hi everyone, this is Deirdre Benjamin. So I've received a lot of um, email about the project and I know a lot of you are worried about how to create um, a, a digital image of your statistic. Um, and so I wanted to make a quick video to show you um, how easy it is and how fun it is. Um, so here we go. I opened Word, so I just open a Word document, and what I did was, because I prefer to make my images on a, um, on a landscape view, so what I did was I went to Page Layout, and I chose here Orientation, Landscape, Portrait is straight up. I like that side view, so I chose Landscape. So I click Landscape, and I made it into a side image. The next thing that I did on the video was, um, for my thing is, I needed to find an image that I was going to copy and paste to meet my statistic. Now remember, it has to be almost accurate to your statistic, so you can't just pick some random picture. Um, it has to be a picture that represents the statistic that you're going to choose. So a lot of you did plastic bottles, so I'm going to show a plastic bottle one. So some of you uh, found out that 1,500 plastic bottles are used um, every day in the United States or every hour or every second, whatever it's going to be. So I went very easily. I went to Google. Um, and so I'm just going to show you, I opened up my, um, my internet explorer here. Um, you can use Google, you can use any search engine and I typed in plastic bottles and I hit click. And then you see up here, web images, videos, maps, news, I chose images. So I went here, here are thousands of images of plastic bottles. So I actually chose this one right here. If you see here, I chose this one and it looks like there's probably about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. I don't know. Let's say there's 25 bottles there. So there's 25 bottles in this image. Uh, you can make the image smaller if you want. You can find, you know, other images here um, of bottles. You could use, um, you know, there's, look at this, you know, here's one. You could use this image. You could use this image. You could use, there's lots of images. Now, the trouble with using an image like this is it's really hard to count how many bottles are there. So I would rather you stay away from images like that and kind of have a sort of a roundabout amount of bottles in the picture. Okay, so I very easily right clicked on that image. Let's just, uh, where is the image? Here it is. I right clicked on that image and I saved the picture to my hard drive on my computer. So save picture as, and then I just said save picture as. And you can see it right here, I said plastic bottle for Mary um, because one, a student, I helped her by trying to find a little bit of an image. So I saved it onto my hard drive there, okay? So then um, what I did was I came back to my Word document and here we go. I came back to my Word document and I said insert picture. And it took me to my thing and here you go. I inserted my picture um, and I said insert picture and here it is. So I'm just going to say insert. It came in really large like this and so what I did was I actually made it a smaller image. So I just kind of dragged the corner and made it tinier so that I could make it a image of the size that I wanted and there you go and then all I did was I can copy it and then paste it and then copy it and paste it so I can do that over and over and over again on this page I might even choose a different image and maybe do something um, to make this pattern a little bit better but there's a lot of other things you can do in Word to make this even a prettier kind of um, a prettier kind of, you know, image with, don't forget, I, I'm going to leave a little text box here so I can insert right here and I can say a text box and I actually can create um, a sample text box here. I could do a sidebar. Um, I could do all sorts of really cool things with all different um, fonts, etc. You know, like I could do a whole sidebar here where I could say this image you know, who knows, like plastic pollution. And I could say, you know, this image 
represents, you know, 1,500 plastic bottles thrown away each second in the United States. You know, so there's tons of things you can do. Um, and then there's another really cool thing. You could actually do this, where you could do this, and you have this here. You say page layout. You can go to design. You can say page color. I'm going to make my page blue or a lighter blue. Look at this. You can make it a prettier color. And then you can just keep copying and pasting these images. Look, I could paste again. And then you know what I can even do? I can actually rotate this image on its head if I wanted to. I could rotate it all different ways and I can make something out of it. I could just make a really cool design if I wanted to. So I could actually try and make these all different directions if I wanted to. I could move images. So there's tons of things you can do to be creative if you don't want to do the straight across um, idea. So there's ways you can do that. You can make page borders here. If you choose here, you can make a page border if you wanted to do something like that. You could make a 3D page border, and I would click here. Well, that's taking it off. Um, I could put it back in, and I could see um, page border. I can make artwork <laughs> as my page border. So there's a lot of really cool things you could do here. Shading, if you want to shade. If you want to make your border a specific color, you could do that. You can make a border around the whole thing. Um, so there's a lot of things that you could do um, on here to make this a really cool, you can add word art if you wanted to um, on there to kind of give the statistic if, you, if you're not okay with adding this sidebar here. You can add shapes in um, to maybe make things look a little bit smoother. It depends on what you're going to do. Um, and I mean, there's just the sky is the limit in terms of of your abilities here. This is just in Word. Now you could also do this image in um, Microsoft Publisher, which I actually find easier to do it in. Um, so Microsoft Publisher, you could do it in PowerPoint and just have one slide with it on there. Sometimes it's easier to create your image in PowerPoint. But if you, and, and there are a lot of apps out there, tons of apps, some free apps out there to make mosaics. Um, I looked up a bunch of those. Just make sure your statistic clearly represents how many bottles. So right here, if I have 24, 24, that's 48 bottles. I need to make sure I keep count so I can get to 1,500 bottles in this image. Now, I'll be honest with you. I probably should could find an image that has less bottles in it and copy and paste it just more times. It would make more of that wow impact statement. So you could do something like that as well. But a lot of you reached out to me and were overwhelmed by the art piece. And I just want you to, um, you know, here's an easy tool to show you how you can create it. Um, now, if you want to get crazy and you want to make this into an image of something, you're more than welcome to do that as well. Um, if you don't feel like that's what you can bite off, you know, if it's more than you can bite off at this time, I know it's getting towards the end of the semester, then, you know, don't do that. Um, you can just kind of line them up. And that's almost a wow statement. In, in fact, is just a pile of them could be more of a wow statement. So it's your choice what you want to do, but you need to make sure that your statistic clearly represents, your, I mean, your image clearly represents the statistic that you're trying to show. Okay, so very, you know, here's a short video. I hope this video has helped you out, maybe taken some of that uh, stress off of you um, for this. Uh, but, you know, just make sure that your image clearly represents your statistic. And, you know, the sky's the limit on terms of images that are out there um, from the Internet. Okay, so reach out if you have any other questions or problems, but here's a simple way to do your project in Word. Remember, again, you could take this to another level if you are comfortable with um, all of the apps that are out there. You can take this to another level, but for me, you know, here's a Word, here's a simple Word example. Okay, thank you.